ground is a way to create open areas on your plate so that you can have value. You can do this process at any point in time during the process. So if you had lines on your plate, it would be okay to go ahead and add this after that, which might make sense to do because then you'd have a better idea of where you should put that information. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a bare plate. But again, it could have lines on it or anything on it. You can do any step I show you at any time in the process. So you wanna make sure your plate's really clean, so clean it with some alcohol. And then you're gonna get this container here, which is called Sugar Lift, okay? Sugar Lift is a mixture of Karo syrup, India ink, and India ink. And then you're gonna add Ajax to the container, okay? If you want it to flow better, okay? Sometimes people like to have it be kind of uh, clumpy. I'll show you that first. So I'm gonna just take a little bit from the lid of this container, or just out of the container here, and put it on my plate, and you can see the difference. Usually when you do this, it'll kinda of start separating a little bit. I suppose now it's not gonna work. Yeah, it looks pretty even. So you need it to be at least this thick. You don't want it really thin and you wanna be really careful that you don't get your hand in it because if you get it on the palm of your hand or the side of your hand here, um, then you're gonna move areas you don't wanna remove. So here you can see I'm starting to get that bubbly look. <laughs> um, and that's because there's nothing in there. It's just the caro syrup. It's just straight from the jar, okay? So sometimes people like this because it looks kinda of like a disease or something. Okay, so sometimes you might want it to look like that. And if you do, just don't put anything in it. Just use it straight, okay? And then you get that sort of diseased look. If you want it to flow more naturally, then put a little bit of Ajax in there, okay? And I've already done that with this. Just put a few drops and then see if it, how it works. You can always add more. So the Ajax makes it smooth? It makes it smooth, it makes it flow better. Okay, so then it flows a little bit better. You don't want it super thick, like this is pretty thick right here. Um, it can be that thick, but it's gonna take a lot longer for it to dry. And it will take a lot longer for you to get it off in the end. All right, so what's kind of nice about this is it's a positive mark. Um, the other ways to do Aquatin are all a negative mark. Um, so I like this because it's more direct. How do you get your plate to not etch since you haven't put any grout? We're gonna do that. Okay. These are my next steps. So this is like a multiple step process, like everything in here. It's crazy to think that just okay. someone just came up with this. I know, I don't know how they come up with all these. <laughs> I'm bored, let's just. Okay, so we're just gonna put a few of these on here. Um, so this is before ground, so you wanna do this always on a bare plate. Because then what we'll do, so totally bare plate, clean plate. Um, this is for sugar lift only. Okay. Tested it. Seemed to work fine. And the ground won't make it like move around. As long as it's dry. Make sure you have it on there dry. See how much better that is. How long do you say? Maybe 34. Oops. Yeah, a little bit more. I hate it when that happens. I know. When you go to try to fix it and it just, just makes a streak. That will settle. Will you stick that on the hot plate? Okay, so hot plate 10 minutes. Make sure you keep track of the time. Okay. <laughs> to be really careful. And then, so you need boiling water and that's gonna lift the sugar up. We go in my office and in that tall cabinet, there's a box of, or actually there's gloves there, maybe I'm missing gloves. Yeah, they don't 
They're really little? Yeah. Do you want this one? No. So don't do this with a bare hand or you're going to burn the crap out of yourself. Maybe, is there a brush or something I could use? Actually, don't I have a brush over that doesn't have stuff on it? That bigger one. Is it clean? Let's try that. You can lightly brush it. You don't want to get crazy because that ground is a little soft right now because it's so hot. So this is very lightly. So that gets rid of the ground and the sugar. So the ground is falling off because it's on top of sugar, which is water soluble. So then you have a plate that has the image that you want to aqua tint open and the rest of it closed. Will that be an open bite? If you put it in the acid just like this, it would be an open bite. Oh, so, there's... so if you wanted an open bite, which means you'd have kind of like a dark edge, lighter middle, you could do that. Kind of a halo effect. But if you want an aqua tint, so you want these areas to be of value, then there'll be one more step. Okay. Again, make sure you're doing this really lightly because I feel like I could easily probably remove the ground in some spots if I wasn't being careful. Okay. So then there's the plate. Now, well, granted, this isn't the plate I just drew. This is another one that I prepared ahead of time. Okay. So now we go back. The board is kept right here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Trying to show it all. <laughs> Put this, this on here. Get this container, which we will label as a pledge floor polish. Now we don't want to spray it directly on the plate or it's going to be uneven. So we're going to spray it in the air. You're going to put your plate inside the box and then you're going to just spray up in the air and let the particles fall down on your plate. Instead of doing the thing where you hold your plate up and spritz in the air. So that will be the method. It seems like it's a lot better method.